Salutations, this is Gremdevel. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Caves of Cud. A thought strikes me. Um, <laughs> a few episodes ago, I mentioned that uh, a video that I had recorded um, cut off after 20 minutes, and we lost about 20 minutes of footage, and that's too bad. Uh, one thing that I remember saying in that cut footage, I now remember, is that there was an episode that I was re-watching uh, back at the Rust Wells where I where our character walked over a tile and there was an artifact in there and a bunch of stuff and I didn't notice. And um, at one point, at some point, it might be nice to go back and get that stuff and see what it is, but maybe we should wait until we can actually identify artifacts. That would be really nice. Um, what's going on down here? These way droids, I think, helped us. I think they killed this human here. Oh, leather boots. Are those going to be better than the... Uh, Sandals of the River Wives? Nah, maybe. Another armor point? Our armor value is five? I feel like it should be higher. Rubber suit is two. Norman Skull is one. All these bucklers. Do all these bucklers not actually increase our armor? Does it really take an average? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we certainly don't have ten. So if I took those boots and equipped them instead of these sandals. Yeah, we still only have five armor value. All right, and right now our movement is... Movement speed is 93? Oh, no, it's because we were in slime. It's 113. All right, let me take care of this slug snout, though. Dang. We cleave deep in it. Nice. All right. Speed is 113. If I now equip instead of the leather boots, if I equip the sandals, speed is now 118. Okay, that's just better. Uh, all right, we leveled up. We have over 100 skill points. Why is our ego so low? Oh, because of our mutation? Or was it always low? It looks like something's affecting it. Oh, it's increased. Right. Because of our helmet. Fair. Um, I think... We, we could do Tinker 1, I think. Oh, no, it's Gadget Inspector. We could do that. But I think I want to cook. Let's do meal preparation. Do it. And uh, let's use a mutation point. Can we get more for the arms? No. We could do more for the legs. We could do more electrical generation. I think we do more for the legs. More carrying capacity. More movement speed. All right. Cool. What do we got around here? Now that we can cook, can we try that? Let's kill this. Kill these things. Uh, ow. Yeah, could you kill that slime amoeba for us? Thank you. You know, let's let's actually go upstairs. Light a fire over here. And yeah, now we can choose ingredients to cook with. Or it's from a recipe. We can make mala soup. We have la petals and vine wafer sheaf. We would need spine fruit jam and cured dong glider tails for that recipe. And then congealed blaze for this one. But mala soup we can make. That's cool. Let's choose ingredients to cook with, though. And let's start cooking with some of the stuff we have. Um, I thought we had more meat. Where's all our meat? I guess we can cook with a face. Oh! Um, we can preserve our foods. That's what we need to do. Yes! Please. All right, we did that. And the exotic foods? 
yonder cane. Okay. Yuckwheat stem. Okay. We're not doing that with the injectors. All right, now this is better. Okay. Let's cook with some boar jerky. And uh, where did we get pickled mushrooms? How about some vine wafer sheets? We've got a ton of those. All right, we did it. All right, cook. Oh, we got, whenever you drink fresh water, there's a 25% chance you get more max X, uh, max hit points for an hour. All right, that's nice. Cool. Um, is our inventory space much better now? It is. Well, that might be also because we dropped a bunch of stuff, but um, I should have paid attention to what it was before we preserved all that food. But being able to preserve food now is going to be really nice. I think our food weighs a lot less now. All these fermented things and dried things, they don't they don't weigh anything. The tubers and the bark do, and that's that's almost all. That's pretty great. Now that we know how to cook, that's going to be fantastic. All these things that do electrical damage do not hurt us much at all. Everything's just coming at us. All right, we're healed up. Okay, that hurt us a lot. 29 damage the Novice of the Sightless Way did. There he is. Let's kill him now. Okay. Before, you know, if you wait too long, they can charge up another um, thing. Oh, gosh. All right, you're asleep, but you could easily kill. Uh, so we're going to just not go near you. Which I don't think we need to go near it. I think we can just go down. Okay, lots of lots more scrap here. Trash, microchips. Aha! Very dead. Um, I'll take that steel battle axe. In fact, I will equip that instead of that steel hand axe. I'm not going to take your boots, though. Hello, bear. Back up. Make sure they can attack us one at a time. All right, we got bear meat. And I will take the meat now. Because... We know we can, um, was there slime there? We know we can, uh, convert it to bear jerky. Okay, dude. Where are you? There you are. All right. All right. Dead. I love having all these droids helping us out. Pretty nice. What do we got? More jerky. I'm not going to grab the robotics. Uh, you know what? I'll take them out. Because I'm never going to remember to look in that chest again. Let's charge that novice before it gets in an attack. Take your utility knife. A lot of XP here. I'll take that grenade. Um, okay. I don't think there's anyone to trade with here, although it could be wrong about that. Ooh. Carbide longsword. That's nice. That's going to sell for a lot. All right, let's search around. Auto explore. Let's 
Slug Snout. <coughs> Dead. Get that raw boar meat. I'm gonna get behind these robot. What is? What are you? Infiltrator. Radial handles circumscribe a space inverter. I can't charge you. Okay. Are oh, you gone? Charge. Good. All right, we're fine. Oh. A Templar Squire. All right, you're well armored. We might want some of that armor. You have an aggressive stance. Um. All right, let's uh, let's berserk. We, what do we do? Chopped off your right arm. All right, you're dead. Ooh, a tube. Take that. Take all these things. And, oh no, I didn't mean to take the head. Just drop that. Um... Where, I'm confused. Where's all the stuff that was on the, oh, it's, he it's here. Okay. Oh, your face. Oh, Buddha's Templar always hates us. That's the perfect face to wear. Take that. Um, get your long sword. Um... We want plate mail? I don't think so. I think we're good. I mean, we could take those boots. We'd lose so much evasion, though. Yeah, I don't think we actually want any of that stuff. It might sell for a bunch. If there was someone here to sell things too, we might do that. All right, let's uh, auto explore. All right, I think we go. Um, let's charge it. Is this? Yeah, we we'll just attack it again. Okay, good. Oh, 325 XP. There's a hermit. Whatever. You guys have fun. Uh, let's go down. All right, we should be getting close to the Barathromite Enclave. Alright. Spawning crabs. Cool. What's here? Steel short sword, I'll take it. Uh, what is that? Oil. Do I have oil in a water skin? No. We could put one in, though. If we find oil on the ground. We would not want brackish oil, but... If we see any dead droids. It's oily salt. Ooh. Copper nuggets. Come here. Come here. Come here, you little so-and-so. Wait. <laughs> nice. Whoops. Uh, a lot of corpses here. Okay.
Oh, another chest. Uh... Oh, wait, an iron buckler. I think that we do want that over a wooden buckler. All right. Did that. A blue door. Have I seen blue doors before? Probably. We're just auto-exploring here. Die, bear. Can I turn you into jerky? I'm bleeding. All right, I'm fine. Uh, speaking of jerky, we are hungry. I think as soon as we finish searching out this level, we will turn our food into other things. Okay. Let's make camp. Let's preserve our fresh food. Oh, crab jerky. Huh. Let's uh, choose ingredients. We have a ton of bear jerky. How about bear jerky and um, star apple jam? Cook. Uh, okay. Cool. Let's go down. Oh, we haven't found the downstairs? Really? Oh, oh, oh. Now, we're as down as we can go. We need to go north. And we did it. We located the Barathromite Enclave. We're going to talk to the communications panel. Begone, Wayfair. This is no place for you. Wait! My name is Moru Moon. The people of Dazamore recently came into possession of a data disk onto which a strange signal was recorded. At their behest, I carry the disk with me. They say your tutelage is to be my reward. A slot opens. A metal tray slides out. Put the stamp disk in the tray. So you wish to study with us. Unfortunately, we require more than a willing spirit. Cut is not Dazamore. You will need to prove your worth, that you might not waste our time and efforts. Travel to the great cavern Golgotha to the north. Within its halls, you will find a cache of dysfunctional wadroids. Recover one. Repair it. Return here. If we are satisfied with your work, you will be admitted to our order. Otherwise, you will not be. Okay. I assume we need some kind of tinkering to do that. And uh, I guess we need to level up and get more skills to get that or get or learn tinkering from someone. I guess. Uh, so this is where I have to tell you that this is as far I've, I've tried to finish this quest before and gotten stuck and not known what to do and then died because I was stuck. Um, but this part was very easy for us here. Feeling very confident in our combat abilities. We still can't be just totally cavalier, but... Um, I think there's nothing else for us here. Let's go. And it wants us to go to Golgotha. And Golgotha, is that up here? No, that's Bethesda Susa. There it is. Not too far. We might as well travel there. All right. Well, we're lost, but we can go north. We are hungry. Um, oh, there are hostiles? Oh, Naftali. Oh, and a goat folk. That's different. See if I can't. Yeah, now I can charge you. Nice. A square cap. Oh. Ego and intelligence. I guess I'll take it. I'll take your head, too, since we're um, about to cook some food. Oh, I can't preserve it. I can't preserve the head. 
Can I cook with the head? I can. Cook with that head. And then also... Um... Where's the vine wafer? Yeah, there we go. All right, nice. They're still healed. All right, just go north. More enough, Tali. Let's charge you. Very dead. Oh, okay. Guy froze a solid, but we're all right. Um, you're a shaman with icy vapor. Uh, all right, can we charge you now? No, one turn. Boom. He froze us. All right, we're all right. All right, let's berserk. I don't want to take any chances here. What did we dismember? Your left hand. Okay. All right, you're dead. Let's back up. What's that to the north? Oh, an artifact. All right, we're okay. And what did we get here? A face... I don't really care about any of that. What's in here? Ooh, scale leather boots. I think those are just better than our crocosins. Cool. Nice stuff. Um, let's take a look. I would love to clean all these slime stained things. Um, yeah, these scale leather boots. Reputation with unshelled reptiles. Which I think are just better than crocosins, which only give us oh yeah they're just better because they give us more reputation with unshelled reptiles but it has the same armor great can we go north okay we discovered forgotten ruins okay take a look Uh, goat folk can be dangerous. You have folded carbide short sword and chain gauntlets. You should be okay. Okay, now. Oh, maybe I should... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our carbide battle axe? Let's actually install the cell. Boom. Uh, we're hurt. Can I berserk? I can. I think we're okay. Thank you for the warning, though. Um. Jeez. Okay. We're sprinting away. That guy was a lot tougher than I would have thought he should be. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Um, he is wounded. Could shoot at him. He's cleaved pretty badly. I could throw something at him. Um, you're badly wounded now. Yeah, we could eventually kill you just by throwing things at you. We do have fast movement. Let's charge. All right, you're dead. You left nothing? I guess we probably chopped off a bunch of your body parts, and that's why. 
We can actually berserk again already. I gotta remember that I have a cell in our electric carbide axe. We don't want to attack things near friendlies. Although leech is actually not hostile. But we do need to be careful around here. All right, here is a folded carbide short sword and those gauntlets. Two armor, three evasion. Instead of the gloves. Yeah, I don't know. I'll take them for now. Uh, let's also clean stuff in the salty water. Uh, looks much better. Although these hind feet are still slimy. What? Clean. Yeah, whatever. Okay. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, hello, turret. This is where we discharge. And then charge, charge. Oh, God. I didn't think... I thought with the discharge, you would... Oh, God, we're going to die. Uh, wow, what a mistake. What a giant mistake. I thought with the um, discharge that it wouldn't be able to function. But I was wrong. I was very wrong. It says it took four damage. Did I discharge the wrong thing? Um, there's no description here. Hold down 200 rounds. No, that was it. It just did a little bit of damage to it. Oh, we're still going to die. Uh, this is not how I thought things would end. Why do I always die? I mean, this game, you always die with stupid reasons, especially if you're, if you're me. Um, is it possible that I can use the... Recoiler? No. How can I not die here? We have um, applicators. No. Uh, tonics. That is not what I meant to do. I did not mean to equip that. This gives you strength, hit points per level, lower movement speed. You can't feel pain. I'm to fear. We're going to die. We're just going to die. Only thing I could think is to berserk. We, we unequipped our weapon. God. I thought that was going to happen. Um, okay. So the lesson here was that the electromagnetic pulse is not a sure thing, and I didn't pay attention. This game, man, you spend so long. You spend so long, you get attached to a character, and then something stupid happens, and it's like, oh, you're right next to something that's going to kill you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, just if you're a little careless. You can't be the slightest bit careless in this game, and I was. I didn't know how tough that thing would be. Uh, but now I guess I should know that chain gun turrets are not to be trifled with. Unlike a lot of other turrets that look kind of the exact same. Man. I'm pretty bummed out. This character was going really well. I think we've gotten farther than we've actually ever gotten, quest-wise, on my CUD series. But still... This is about, this is still around as far as I ever get. I never seem to get past this point. Um, 
no matter, even though I keep saying like, oh, I'm going to play more carefully this time. I'm going to play a different type of character. I always get to this point and fail. And it's very sad. And I'm not sure what I could have done. I mean, what I, what I could have done is just not gone in that room when I saw that thing. But I was overconfident. Every time we had seen anything like this, we'd used our EMP ability and it got disabled. And then we just ran up to it and smashed it without it being able to do anything. Didn't happen here. Um, so the lesson I learned was that EMP doesn't doesn't work always the same way. Um, yeah, maybe it was just too tough. I don't know. So that's very sad, but that is Caves of Cud. Oh. Oh. Um, all right, let's take a look here. We, most advanced artifact was somehow the structural scanning bracelet. We could have had better equipment. We definitely could have. Um, we had some nice axes and stuff, but we didn't have any, like, good tech. We named some furs, discovered a lair, read a bunch of books. We visited the six-day stilts. Yep, got lots of commentary. We contracted Mumble Mouth, endearing yourself to Fungi across Cud. Read more books. We uh, helped the Warden Nilahind administer justice. We spoke to the Barathromites. And we were killed by a chain gun turret in some forgotten ruins. So what happened here? And of course, accidentally, I equipped that Hulk honey injector because, and I've done this several times in this Let's Play, I hit the right arrow on it, um, thinking it would close the, the menu, but instead it equips it for some reason. Don't like that key binding. Um, and I guess I shouldn't have re-equipped it, I was just thinking that if I was going to try to berserk and hit it and hope I dismember it or decapitate it, which was like the only thing I could think, I would need that axe. But I, it wasn't even our primary axe that I'd equipped it with, so I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. I should. What I should have done uh, is not re-equip the carbide battle axe, assuming I still had the primary carbide electric battle axe in my ha primary hand dismembered or not dismembered, berserked and then try and then hoped crossed my fingers and hoped that i chopped off something that it re that it needed yeah all right it hit for a lot of damage all right well that's it uh this was a fun journey uh i would like to play more cud again soon Probably a different kind of character build than the uh, Berserk build that we've tried. I think we've gotten a lot of mileage out of it. Um, but I think next time we play someone a lot more tech heavy, I think. We've we've done the psychic. We've done the, the melee stuff. We've done the sniper. We've never really done the technologist. And I think that's what we're going to do next. Although we're going to take a little break probably uh, in the CUD series and do something else. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. I enjoyed playing with you and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.